What happens to nuclear submarines after they are retired? This striking aerial image reveals a little-known scene. Decommissioned nuclear submarines stored at the Puget Sound Naval Shipyard in the United States. These vessels, which spent decades navigating the oceans on secret missions, often in remote locations and under the strictest secrecy, find here their first destination after leaving active service. These giants of the seas, which for so long ensured the safety and strategic interests of the United States, remain anchored side by side for years, awaiting their dismantling. However, this storage phase is only the beginning of their true end. There is still a long and delicate process ahead until they reach their final destination. In the image, we can see 16 submarines already out of service, lined up alongside the support ship, USS Sperry. These are vessels from previous generations, models that have become obsolete and have been replaced by more modern and technologically superior submarines. Each of these submarines represents an era in naval history marked by technological advances and strategic challenges. The camera now zooms in on the Intermediate Maintenance Facility at the Naval Shipyard located in Bremerton, Washington. It is here that retired submarines await their turn to undergo the careful dismantling process. Currently, at least 12 Los Angeles-class submarines one of the most iconic classes of the U.S. fleet can be seen immobilized, like shadows of what they once were in their days of glory. Even out of service, these submarines still present considerable challenges, mainly because of their nuclear reactors, which require a highly secure deactivation and disposal process to ensure both environmental protection and human safety. Each retired submarine is then taken to a dry dock inside a high-security facility. The first and most crucial step in dismantling is the removal of the spent nuclear fuel. This is an extremely meticulous procedure. The reactor is shut down, the fuel is removed, and the reactor compartment is carefully cut out and isolated. This compartment containing the reactor core is sealed inside specially designed steel casks to safely contain the radiation. Once sealed, the reactor is transported to the Hanford site, a location reserved exclusively for the disposal of nuclear materials, located in the state of Washington. This facility is managed by the United States Department of Energy and is one of the largest nuclear disposal sites in the world. At Hanford, the reactor compartments are placed in a special trench known as Trench 94. This trench, about 1,000 feet long, was designed to securely store the reactors for at least 300 years. The goal is for the radioactive material to decay to safe levels before any possible loss of knowledge about what is buried there could pose a risk to future civilizations. For centuries, this site will remain restricted, protected by law, and marked by warnings, serving as a somber reminder of the challenges of nuclear waste management. Even in a distant future, when much of what we know today has changed, the casks will remain underground, safeguarding the remnants of an era powered by atomic energy. But while some submarines are reaching the end of their journey, others are just beginning. Nearly 3,000 miles away, at the Newport News shipyard in Virginia, new vessels are being constructed. It is there that the most modern submarines of the American fleet are born. Among them are the Virginia-class submarines, which currently represent the most advanced in naval warfare technology. Designed to replace the aging Los Angeles class, the Virginia-class submarines are true multifunctional platforms 
capable of carrying out land attack missions, hunting enemy submarines, and conducting espionage operations, all with unprecedented stealth capabilities. With an operational life expectancy of over 30 years, these vessels can operate silently across the oceans for months at a time, limited only by the physical and psychological endurance of their crews. Currently, 24 Virginia-class submarines are in active service, with ambitious plans to eventually increase this number to 66 units. The newest versions, known as Block 5, bring significant improvements, including long-range cruise missile launch capabilities and even more sensitive sonar systems. These vessels are expected to remain in service until the 2070s, consolidating America's naval presence across the world's oceans. However, not all news is good. The construction of the Virginia-class submarines is facing significant delays, with half of the projected timelines currently compromised. Supply chain problems and a shortage of skilled labor have slowed the pace of construction, reflecting a concerning loss of competitiveness for the American shipbuilding industry on the global stage. Looking at these retired submarines patiently stored at the shipyards, we can learn a great deal not only about the past, but also about the challenges that lie ahead. They are silent witnesses to technological advances, strategic shifts, and the complex environmental responsibilities our generation must confront. If you enjoy learning more about these fascinating behind-the-scenes stories of technology and military history, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our next videos. Thanks for watching.